Introduction Social media is a very effective way to reach the general public and turn them into paying customers. If you are a business, there is no asset as resourceful and affordable as social media to understand consumer habits and buying patterns. These platforms are a boon for brands that want to disseminate information about their products and services. And if you use the right mechanism, you might be able to hit a gold mine of buyers. But like everything else, you need to have a strategy, and there are a few ways to do that right. The first step, of course, is to have a social media presence. Set up your accounts with a clear title and description. Add the URLs to your website and make a plan to interact with your customers and potential buyers on a regular basis. This is how you reach them at a personal level. Social media is one of the most inexpensive ways of marketing a product or service. You don't need to work too hard once you know the message, and there are plenty of free tools at your disposal that can help you create quick and jazzy content. All you need to do is post consistently, and you will build a loyal audience in no time. That is why many bloggers use it to reach their readers and viewers without spending a single penny. Social media is also a great way to stay in the minds of your customers. In marketing terms, this is often referred to as top-of-the-mind recall. When a customer is thinking of the products or services that you offer, your brand is one of the things, if not the first one, they recall. For example, oftentimes, Apple is for smartphones, Domino's is for pizza, Lay's is for chips, Coke for soft drinks, and so on. This is done by creating an image for your brand that is hard to forget. Social media is an extremely useful tool when it comes to this. Over time, it converts individuals interested in your product or service into paying customers. It's all about creating an unforgettable impression in the minds of the customer. This makes you everyone's first choice. Now, if you understand the competition, you will be able to find ways to beat them too. In fact, you can even build on their ideas and beat them at their own game. The basic engagement metrics are available for everyone to see. You can keep tabs on their popularity to a certain extent while you're still working on your own. Check their content, keep an eye on the comments, and look at the features they are enabling to better serve their customers. Make yourself aware of their strategy so that you can incorporate some of that into your own. Conclusion There's a lot to capture and understand when it comes to social media so that you can use it to your benefit. Each company must create a strategy that is specific to its purpose. Your goals, message, and publishing calendars are not templates that can be downloaded. You can, however, get some templates to build these calendars and customize them to meet your brand and its audience's needs. So if you are a business that wants to get the word out and as many customers in as possible, this is the perfect tool for you to decode. What's more, you can grow a business just with your online presence at a fraction of the cost of what you would end up spending if you focused only on traditional techniques of marketing. You will hardly ever see anyone with internet access not have a Facebook account. No, we're not talking about your uber-cool new-age buddy who is beyond the drama of their peers. Facebook has gotten so big that it is virtually a nation and one that is extremely well-connected. Platforms like Twitter and Instagram are also a part of this growth brigade, and everyone's lives have been overtaken by this magic. We'd call it a whirlwind, but it's more like a tsunami. The good kind, though. Well, for the most part. This is a great time for businesses to be thinking about maximizing their potential. For one, you don't need to spend as much and would still be justified in expecting tangible results from this strand of marketing. There is plenty of data that is being handed to you on a platter by users themselves. All you need to do is mine it and break it down so that you can reach them at a personal and real level. They keep saying this is the era of information and that data is today's oil. If you fail to miss that cue and make your mark, it is no one else's fault but yours and yours alone. What is social media marketing? Using social media to your business's advantage is not just a perk, but in this day and age, it is practically mandatory. But the idea itself evolved from publishing when businesses wanted to create interest in their product or service. Soon, social media platforms were being used for word-of-mouth reasons to boost sales. Today, this realm of marketing involves so much more than just pushing content. It can be used to monitor conversations about the brand itself, likes, shares, 
engagement with posts in general, and tags are also extremely helpful indicators. These platforms can also be used to understand better ways of serving the brand's customers, loyal and new ones, by using them as informal channels of customer service. Businesses can also use this data to understand their appeal among different demographics and target new ones, thanks to the wealth of data that is provided by the likes of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Now every business decides the kind of audience it wants to reach and creates ads on social media for those highly targeted groups of individuals. This is referred to as social media advertising, and the entire process is called social media management, or SMM. This indicates creating posts in text, publishing pictures and videos, and making content that, in general, creates a discussion among the audience about your products and servicing. This also includes paid advertising. The first part of this is to make a plan that will help your business reach its goals. You need to understand, what is your target audience demographic? What do you want to accomplish specifically with social media marketing? Which platforms does your target audience spend most of its time on? What is the message you want to send? This way, you will be in better position to create content that is tailor-made to the audience you intend to target. According to Oberlo, 90.4% of millennials are active social media users. 77.5% of Gen Z use social media vigorously. 48.2% of baby boomers do the same. 71% of consumers recommend a brand to their friends and family members if they have had a good experience with said brand on social media. So no matter who you are trying to reach, having a social media strategy is key to the success of your brand. People from different walks of life, from age groups across the globe, are logging into their social media accounts several times a day to connect with individuals and businesses alike. It's a great place for them to find what they want, and even for businesses, it is a great place to understand consumer behavior. That is why investing in social media marketing is a sustainable way of ensuring the growth of a business. How to use your social media platforms to grow your business. More than 50% of the world's population is using social media actively. That's more than 4.3 billion people, and they are all waiting to be turned into your loyal customers. A good social media strategy can do just that, and here are a few things you need to start with. Pick the right platform for your brand. The first thing to do is pick a platform that is right for your brand. That requires looking into the kind of customers you want to target and understanding where they spend most of their time. This is not a place for guesswork. Instinct is, is to believe that baby boomers don't spend too much time on social media and Gen Z audience spends a lot of their time on TikTok and Instagram instead of Facebook. But follow the research. Facebook and Pinterest are still quite popular among adults who are over 60. There is a growing audience among adults over 65 years of age on Facebook. TikTok is another platform where brands are starting to experiment with advertising because of its popularity among the Gen Z crowd. Your social media strategy has to be specific to your brand and its potential customers. And you don't have to stick to just one platform. The best way to reach a range of businesses is to try different platforms and channels to meet your goals. Make a plan for your audience. The next step is to make a plan for your specific audience. Social media's efficiency lies in the fact that it gives you the ability to micro-target the audience. So you need to study demographics and understand them first. Start by looking at your existing customers. Check your social media analytics to understand their behavior. Look into the data on who is your buyer and how they are connecting with you on any of these platforms. Gather information on the kind of hashtags and referrals for your website. That gives you a deeper look into your audience. Using that data, you can create what is called a buyer's persona. That will help you understand the best way to speak with your customers. Over 44% of internet users make use of social media to look up brands and their products. That means if you run a good strategy, you have the opportunity to grab their eyeballs. If you stand out from the crowd, you might even be able to turn them into loyal customers. So, how do you stand out from the crowd? For instance, at any given point in time, Facebook users roughly deal with more than 1,000 posts on their newsfeed. 
you need to figure out how to get them to stop scrolling and check out your message. The best way to reach your audience is through engaging. When the crowd responds to your organic content, this means posts, pictures, and videos that you have not paid for. Talk to them through comments and personal messages when applicable. Engage with them and build a certain amount of trust. This kind of engagement is very exciting to the users. It inspires them to like and share your content, which in turn gives you entry into free and new avenues. Top of social media platforms for small businesses and why you should be on them. Once you have identified the right platforms for your brand, it's time to get cracking on the strategy. Now, there is no one-size-fits-all plan for this. Every platform is different from the other, and each of them has a different algorithm. As mentioned before, the first step is to create a profile on all of them. Your username or display name should be as close to the name of your business as possible. The exact same one if you can manage that. Then you must add all the required information to your profile. Add the logo as your display image, and you're almost done. Finally, you must make sure that the people running these accounts have access to the accounts as an administrator. Facebook. This one has a giant user base, with more than 2 billion active users monthly. Your target customers are almost certain to be on this platform, which means you absolutely cannot ignore it. And luckily for small businesses, this platform is all about making it easy to build an audience through paid advertising. They target individual accounts based on those who engage with your organic or unpaid posts because it is a good bet that they are interested in what you have to say. Content-wise, there are a few things to look out for. It is very pro-conversations. So if someone likes your page, they will get updates about your sales, promotions, product launches, and upcoming events. So if you give them the right content and get them to engage with you, the chances of them entering and staying in your universe are pretty good. Twitter. This is another great place for individuals and businesses to talk to each other. There are many tools that cater specifically to small businesses. It is very high-paced, with more than 500 million tweets sent out every day. There are more than 320 million active users monthly on Twitter, and you need some manpower to keep up with the pace of things. LinkedIn. Then, there is one of the oldest social media platforms. LinkedIn has been around since 2002. Just like the other social media giants, it offers several solutions for small businesses. It has more than 250 million active users monthly, and it is one of the most popular platforms among business-to-business -business marketers. Now, this is a place to connect with other business professionals, so if an individual is following your company's profile, they are very likely to check out the information put out rather keenly. This is also a good place for video content. So create videos sharing insights about your product or service. And if you do a good job, you will see a huge boost to engagement. Then, you need to figure out how often you must share these updates. One post a week actually gets you great results on LinkedIn. Make sure your employees are your brand ambassadors. How to Generate Leads Using Social Media Generating Leads This is a very important step, and before you plan your social media assault, start by optimizing your profile so that you can identify organic leads first. This is the starting step before you plan any social media campaign. Your profile should have all the information that will help the viewers shop, sign up for your newsletter, and such. You need to add your contact information so that they know how to reach you if they have customer queries. This includes information like your phone numbers, email ID, and responses via messages. If there is another way, add that too. Launch good lead magnet offers. If you give the customer the right incentive, they might just be forced to share their information with you for free. So what is the right incentive? You need a lead magnet offer that appeals to your target audience. Whether it is a report or a free tool, find out what it is by analyzing their behavior. Sometimes these offers also include webinars, white papers, and discounts. It depends entirely on the product or service that you are offering. Don't forget about special offers. Now, when we say special offers, we are also talking about freebies. They say there are no free lunches, but sometimes a snack isn't so bad. So, 
make sure you figure out what giveaways will attract attention on social media. These kinds of campaigns are very popular on social media and typically come with an entry form. All they need to do is fill up a form and collect their freebie. This gives you information and them something for free. It is a win-win for everyone involved. Don't underestimate clickbaits. Then there is the beast on the internet called clickbait. You need compelling content, but the internet is also a place where everyone has a short attention span. So sometimes, even if you have good content, it is hard to create the attention it deserves. The post needs to have sharp text, and the images must be compelling. Your creative team must be on fire if you want to create usable links. Share testimonials. People tend to trust people they know or can relate to, and offering such proof in the form of testimonials is a great way to gain their trust, and yes, it converts into great leads too. Businesses are known to do this by showing off about the clients who have benefited from their products and services. This gives your brand credibility. Unless you're Apple, that is its own brand ambassador. Learn about sequential retargeting ads. It means that the customers who visit your website or pages are put through a sequence of ads once they leave the page. That way they don't have to suffer through the same ad, no matter how good it is. Don't get offended over and over again. Instead, they see a whole set of ads that play sequentially. What this strategy does is that it amplifies your ability to advertise on social media, which helps you re-engage the audience you missed in the first go. This creates a lot of prospects for generating leads. Strategies to promote your business using social media. Some of the most effective strategies are sometimes the simplest ones. As they say, the devil does lie in the details. So, here are a few basics you can do on social media to get your brand the attention it deserves. And the best news is that it won't cost you a penny. Create a publishing calendar. The first thing to do is create a message and the corresponding content. Once you have that, you need to figure out when and where you will be posting that content. That process can be streamlined by creating a message calendar. Without that, you will inevitably end up struggling to post content at the last minute. And more often than not, that is going to be low quality and lacking the intelligence it needs. The lack of time also compels you to repeat posts, and that's a massive bummer too. Use the right hashtags. There was a time when you had to create hashtags and do this intuitively. But now, there are many tools on the internet like Keyword Generator, which can give you keywords and hashtags that go perfectly well with your content. Use these tools efficiently to get your posts the required attention. Hashtags are extremely useful when it comes to promoting posts, whether it's for branded posts or special occasions like contests and giveaways. Adding them on platforms like Instagram adds a great deal of value and also reaches anyone who clicks on the same. You can also ask your audience to use the same hashtags when they are responding to your posts. This is a great way to spread word of mouth, especially when you are running a contest or a special offer. Share video content. There is no conversation about marketing a brand on social media without talking about video content. It is now quite clear that more and more people are consuming information through videos on their phones rather than reading stuff. It is a great tool to send your message while conveying tone and personality. Videos are also seen as a way to hold the attention of your audience. Make use of cross-promotion effectively. You have a presence on social media platforms. What you need to do next is to promote those channels across the channels so that you can remind your followers to get your content everywhere. This is advantageous because you will be creating content that is specifically for a platform. Just because an individual follows you on Facebook doesn't mean they can skip Twitter or Instagram. Different content for different platforms. We mentioned earlier that the content on each platform must be unique. This is because each platform has its own algorithm, and the content on these platforms gets pushed to the subscriber based on these calculations. That's because the likes of Facebook and Instagram are constantly analyzing viewer consumption patterns and changing the algorithm to present content in the way the majority is consuming it. When you adapt your content to meet the requirements of the platform, your efforts will be appreciated. Viewers will recognize that you are in sync with their needs and responding to them.
How to Create Engaging Social Content We've talked about creating different types of content for different platforms, but what should you keep in mind while creating this content? There are a few easy ways to get the attention of your audience without having to invest too much time or effort. Let's look at some templates that will get your brand the engagement that you're looking for. Ask a question. The simplest form of a call to action is to ask a question. Even better if you can provoke some thought through it. What do you do when you are trying to be conversational? How are you today? Is a pretty good conversation starter in real life, but that's not going to get anyone's attention on social media unless it has a really interesting context. You can even suggest an answer to nudge them towards your brand if you are not a well-established name in the industry. What you need to do essentially is to get people thinking about your product or service. Humanizing your content. Billions of users are on any given social media platform every month. This has turned social media into a great place to share human interest stories. People are always looking for positive, uplifting stories. When it comes to sharing stories about your product or service, going with human interest hardly ever fails. It's a good story and one that everyone wants to hear. Tell them stories about your team members and what they consider to be a win. Usually, this is built around making a customer happy. Also, use the moment to tell them how your product or service bridges the gap between the other existing products and the problems customers are having with said products. Monitor audience behavior then it's time to keep an eye out for the responses. This is not just to understand the impact of your existing posts, but also to learn what works so that you can plan your future strategy. This, of course, is more applicable to brands that have been in the social media game for a while. All social media platforms give you analytics that tell you a lot of specific things about user behavior. And we know by now that quite easily, people engage more with visual posts. Anything with pictures and videos gets a second look compared to those text posts. On Facebook, for instance, you can check this by going into your page insights, clicking on posts, and then checking post types. Be a good listener. Monitoring discussions using your target keywords and tags of topics on online forums is an extremely important part of understanding what your existing and potential customers want from you. This is helpful not just with your content, but also with the stuff that your competition is pushing out. See how the customer base is responding to their posts and learn whatever you can from it. 10 Social Media Do's and Don'ts They say no press is bad press, but that is so not true if you are a brand with a social media presence. But not to worry, there are a few easy ways to keep tabs on what to do and what not to do so that you can make the most of your presence and avoid the common trappings of this highly capricious medium. Yes, no shortcuts. There are no free lunches in life. The same goes for social media presentations. No matter how well your content is, you do not top the charts in a day. Nothing magical happens overnight. It takes many human hours to be a successful brand on social media. Yes, add value. At the end of the day, these platforms are just another way for you to reach your audience. So keep your content interesting, no matter the format you use. You can work well with teasers, but there must be a value add at the end of it. Yes, have clear goals. Achieving those results is no accident. It takes a clear set of goals that need to be planned right at the beginning. Whether it's your overall strategy or a strategy for one particular campaign, you need to be clear on what you are trying to achieve. Yes, stay consistent. Then there is the mistake that a lot of businesses make. Once you reach a certain point, there is a temptation to think you're above the game. No one is. The social media crowd is a classic example of the old adage, the customer is king. Yes, take advantage of promoted content options. If you don't have a big budget, or any for that matter, you will be relying on organic reach for your content. But if you can spare some moolah, there is the option of promoting your page and products. No, don't overdo the hashtags. Then there are things you should never do. Hashtags are great, but not if you overdo them. You might want to reach as many people as you can with these, but too many hashtags are no longer the case and hence makes for a bad strategy. No, check your spelling and grammar. This is just awful. 
You might be human and mistakes are a possibility. That is why you should have a spell check enabled and then get someone else to take a look at your copy too. No, don't spam them. Some businesses still think that a lot of information gives the audience the chance to sit with all of it. Nope. People don't want to be flooded with posts because it starts to feel like spam. No, don't only chase the numbers. Speaking of followers, a lot of tricks we've talked about in this book are about gaining an audience. But don't restrict yourself to the numbers. Social media is a fickle place, and customers change their minds every day. No, voice of authority, yes, but, know-it-all, no. When you talk about your product or service or your industry, you want to sound like the voice of authority that you are. Be confident and knowledgeable, but don't be a show-off. That looks like arrogance and is condescending to your consumers. What metrics to track using social media? When it comes to reading the results of your efforts, social media has made it very easy for businesses to gauge their success. The numbers are there for everyone to see, and there are no lies here. Well, almost. You can't create goals if you don't have access to these metrics, because it lets you make sense of what kind of strategy is working for the people and what you need to do to make it better. Engagement. This is the first metric you need to understand, because this is more of an umbrella term. It contains the following. Likes, comments, shares, or retweets are all individual metrics of engagement that add up. If you are checking Twitter, you can get a report which summarizes all the engagement for a specific tweet. Then there is the engagement rate. This is the number of engagements divided by the reach or impressions. When the numbers are high, you can rest assured that people find your tweet or post interesting. When it's organic, it means that you are able to create brand awareness without having to prompt action from the users. That's a good sign too. Impressions and reach. These are two other metrics that often confuse businesses. If you are working towards improving or even understanding brand perception and awareness, you need to look at these. Here's how you know the difference. Impressions tell you how many times a user saw it on their timeline. Reach, on the other hand, tells you the possible number of unique viewers your post could have, well, reached. Typically, this is calculated by adding your number of followers and the follower count of the accounts that shared your post. Referrals and conversations. Typically, e-commerce websites start by keeping track of these two metrics because they are directly linked to marketing and sales. This is the goal of every business but you will need to devise a publishing strategy with tracks if you want to understand the traffic analytics of your website. Referrals tell you about the users who actually land on your website. You can see where these users came from, and typically, you can see your social media traffic under a separate tab, no matter the tool you are using to get the information. Conversion is about the purchases made on your site. A viewer has been converted into a paying customer. A social conversion is one that happened because of the content posted on a social media platform, and it all happened in one go. You should also learn about click-through rate, or CTR, when it comes to both posts and ads. This is a number which tells you how many times a user has clicked on the content of your posts. It gives you the data on impressions because they saw the ad or post too. When the CTR numbers are high, it means you ran a good ad and got results. This can be measured using email links call-to-action buttons, and specific social media ads too.